Hello, Dunstan Miner here. Today's project, I want to make myself a traveling trunk. So let's jump in. Okay, okay. so a traveling trunk, that's this guy right here. Basically, it's a trunk that kind of hops along after you and you can throw things in it like a regular trunk, but it follows you around even if you teleport between dimensions. Uh, it can uh, attack enemies. <laughs> Sort of. It's a trunk. I guess it bites them. Um, you can even um, basically give it the same kind of upgrades that golems have to be able to give it more power. So you can make it go faster. Uh, you can make it be able to carry more things. You can make it um, defend you uh, by installing a fire upgrade. Um, you can make it so that nobody else can mess with it uh, and make it more damage resistant by installing a water upgrade. Um, you can make it so it keeps its inventory when you pick it up. And then finally, you can make it so that it pulls in items from nearby if they are dropped uh, next to it. In order to make one, you've got to first make yourself a wooden golem and a hungry chest. So we've got some other magical things to go make. And then you need some great wood planks, a little bit of iron, and you've got yourself a traveling trunk by doing an infusion. So you've got to come up with these various things here. I have taken the liberty of getting all of the various uh, essentia together ahead of time, as well as gathering all of the materials. So let me grab those here. First thing to start with, we need a hungry chest, which turns out is very, very easy to make. You just grab some wood, you grab a trapdoor and a little bit of essentia from your wand. Boom, hungry chest, no problem little bit more complicated to make a wooden golem, but not by very much. Uh, pretty simple task actually of throwing a bunch of stuff into a crucible. So let's go do that. Of course, I've got my fancy dancy crucible here. I want a wooden golem, so I'm going to need some Humanus, Motus, and Spiritus. I'm going to close off my valves here. And I've got some Spiritus. I've got some Motus, and I've got some Humanus. And a little bit of alchemical magic later, and I will have a wooden golem. Close all of these things up here, just so I don't make a mess of things. There we go. Okay, so we've now got part two. And that actually gives us the rest of our physical ingredients. And then taking a quick peek here, I'm gonna need some iter, modus, spiritus, and vacuus. So, iter, modus, spiritus, and vacuus, which is right over here. And over to the infusion altar. Just line these things up here. Okay, 37, plenty, seven. Just double checking. Yep, okay, that looks fine. We've got plenty of spiritus and plenty of itter. Okay, so our golem goes, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This leads me into another <laughs> useful device, uh, the Gollum Bell. And this is uh, just a handy little guy that uh, you make with, it's not showing the recipe, but uh, basically it's four quarts, a stick, and a little bit of vis made on the arcane workbench. And this will allow you to take an uncooperative golem and turn him back into an item. Uh, it is possible to damage the golem. Oh, that's interesting. I must have to shift click. There we go. Uh, yeah, so shift click to get him to go down instead of placing the golem. Uh, so left clicking a golem with a golem answers bell just reduces him back to a plain item. Uh, and I think shift click knocks off all of the upgrades so that the golem is still out in the world but you get back the upgrades so you can change your mind about what upgrades you want them to have 
Uh, and then now we just need to place a few things on our altars here. Okay, nice and balanced, looks good. One last check, iron, great wood, wood golem. Oh, see, I got it wrong, that's why you check. This goes here and that goes there. Okay. All right, wood golem on the outside, hungry chest in the middle, iron, iron, great wood, good. 4444 four, 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 and 16 vacuous. So four of everything except for vacuous. Got lots more than 16. And we're doing pretty good on all the rest of these. So off we go. That's all the Essentia. Now pulling in the items. like I have a traveling trunk. Okay, it's got some hearts. I can click this to tell it to stay put so it won't follow me around anymore, or I can unclick it to have it follow me. And let's say I wander off. <laughs> oh, that is adorable. Look at that. Okay, so it's having some issues with my door. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Uh, that is hilarious. <laughs> well, there you go. Traveling trunk. Uh, I may very well make some upgrades for him at some point. And I believe just left clicking with your Gollum Answers bell allows you to pick him up just like any other trunk. So if I decide, for example, I want him to just live over there. Uh oh. Looks like I put him in the fire. That's not great. Oh, I put him in the wall. Ah, that's a good lesson learned. There we go. Yeah. And now he'll hang out there. Hopefully I didn't hurt him too badly. No, he looks fine. Okay, so good lesson. Don't try to stick him too deeply into a corner because it is an entity and it will suffocate in the wall. <laughs> not fantastic. Um, yeah, very cool. So I can, uh, of course, make him some of those upgrades. Um, I believe he can only accept one being based on a wooden golem. I'm going to guess that that number of upgrades is what carries over. Um, but yeah, I think that's just a quick one for now. Make a, a traveling trunk. So should be handy as I go about the world and collect more than I can easily carry. That's it for now. Talk to you later.